Fire in the hole, let's smoke up some onions. Stay tuned. Yeah, so let's smoke up some onions. I got this recipe from uh, Big John Setzler. He's a Kamado Joe guru. And what I got is some nice big sweet onions and I've cut out a little depression in them and wrapped them with bacon. And now we're gonna drizzle them with olive oil. Just a little bit of EVO, extra virgin olive oil. All over them, there you go. Yep, he, he actually rubbed his onion. Big John is a Kamado Joe guru, like I said. And I'm gonna put a link down in the bucket to his uh, website, and you can see how he does this. I'm gonna take some Weber Chicago steak seasoning and sprinkle on those onions. And then we're gonna make a, a basting sauce for those onions. Uh, this recipe's got everything. It's got whiskey, bacon, onions. We're gonna take three quarters of a cup of beef broth. We're gonna put some of that steak seasoning in there. We're gonna put some thyme in there, some dried thyme. A little bit of that, there you go. Mix that up. And some whiskey. Big John said, a whole bottle of whiskey, so I'm putting a whole bottle of Black Label in there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's like I said, this recipe's got it all. You got whiskey, bacon, onions, it's got it all. So what we're going to do now is uh, get them on the grill and give them the initial baste, and then we'll come back and baste them every 15 minutes. So stay tuned, and I'll show you what that looks like. Stay tuned. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I got my smoked onions on the grill. I'm going to hit them with that basting sauce, with that whiskey, and uh, what do you call that? Beef broth, and those uh, flavors, the spices. I'm going to come back and do that uh, about every 15 minutes for the next two hours. It takes two hours to smoke them, so stay tuned. Oh, we'll drink a beer while all that's going on. Don't you worry. Stay tuned. So my onions are smoking up. And I forgot to mention that I put some uh, apple wood in there for smoke. And it's time for a beer. And there's the excessively frosty root boy mug. And here's today's beer, Abita Wrought Iron IPA. Sounds pretty good to me. Abita's making a wrought iron IPA. Uh, Abita Wrought Iron from IPA embodies the resilient, indestructible nature of New Orleans India Pale Ale. Intensity of Apollo, Equinox, and Mosaic Hops. Sounds good to me. I don't care what you put in it. Abita, always a good beer from Abita. Let's get uh, some of that poured out. Looking good. Got quite a bit of head on that. About half head, half beer. But it's uh, coming down nicely. It's got a real nice color. Real nice color. Hope it's got the uh, the good smell of an IPA. I bet it does. Let's quaff the froth off it, Roll. What do you think? That smells excellent. A beta comes through with an IPA. Let's quaff the froth off it. Yeah, that tastes good. That's a nice IPA. From the Abita Brewing Company, Wrought Iron IPA. Brewed and bottled in Louisiana, United States of America, not Anbev, not Germany. Not the money's not going to Germany, the money's staying right here in the United States. Drink Abita. Let go of the butt wiper. Okay, let's check in our onions. Come right back. Stay tuned. Okay, my onions are looking good. We're in the last phase of this, and uh, Big John put some uh, guayer cheese on his onions, but I'm going to put some honey goat cheese on mine. It's a bit softer than the guayer, and it's got a more kind of a pungent flavor, but it's good, good tasting cheese, this goat cheese. I'm going to put this goat cheese on there, honey goat cheese, that I got at Aldi's of all places. I'm going to put about three or four pieces of that on there. 
Yeah, look at that. And uh, I think John garnishes up with a little bit of parsley. So I think we'll sprinkle a little bit of parsley on there. Yep, a little bit of parsley for some color. And we'll put the cover back on and let that cheese melt. Then we'll put them on a plate and take a taste test. So please, stay tuned. Okay, so that uh, goat cheese didn't exactly melt the way that Guayir did for Big John. But it's nice and soft and it's creamy and good. I'm going to take a taste of this onion. Just going to cut into it right here. Just get a taste of that with some of that bacon. Some of that goat cheese. Yeah, some of that bacon. A little bit of that cheese on there. A little bit of that smoked onion. Let's give that a taste. What do you think? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a winner. Thanks you Big John for the recipe. Very nice side dish. It's going to go well with my steaks. Ah, pardon me. And uh, you know what I always say, if you like this crap, please subscribe. If you don't, I want you to go see a friend of mine. He's not cooking anything lately because he's snowed in. But as soon as the snow thaws, Mr. Russ Helm is going to be giving it hell with his smokes are rolling. He'll be rolling some smoke. I can tell you that right now. That goat cheese is very good. It's very sweet. It's not like the guayir. John had some guayir. It really melted on there good. But the goat cheese is nice and sweet. Tasty. Tasty cheese. So, uh, yeah, go over and see Russ Helm. Smoke's rolling. He'll be making new videos soon. As soon as he gets dug out. And if you don't, if you like this crap, please subscribe. And don't forget to check in the bucket for Big John's Kamado Joe channel. He does the same recipe. I got it from him. And uh, he'll tell you all about it. Okay, see you next week. Bye.